Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to the Iron Diaper, your regular, regular Gundam news show. And when I make one of these, it means there has been some Gunpla announcements totally worth mentioning. Anyway, what just happened in Japan was the Shizuoka Hobby Show. I'm not sure if that was last weekend or what. It seems like this came out a few days ago, so I am a little bit behind. And as usual, I get all my information from Bandai Hobby Site itself, from either the at Hobby Site Twitter, or over here on their actual website, which is Bandai Hobby. Net. So let's take a look at what was announced in order of awesomeness. So this right here has to be the biggest announcement out of them all. Definitely the one that's got people the most excited, me included. So Bandai is finally expanding on the MGSD line, which means they are going all in. That is Master Grade Super Deformed, and what we're getting is the Gundam Barbatos. That is pretty awesome. So there isn't much information about this right now. It's coming out in autumn 2023. There is no price yet, and there is no website page for it with the information and pictures. But from what I can see right here, it looks to be very, very similar to what we saw with the absolutely awesome Master Grade SD Freedom Gundam. So this is one to be excited about. If you like yourself some kits that are chibi, small, cute, but packing in the Master Grade features, this is the one for you. Now I have to mention, it seems like Bandai is avoiding any kind of regular master grade they're doing everything we've got a verka already this year no standard master grade announcements at all and then we got a master grade sd i wouldn't be surprised if bandai announces a master grade extreme sometime later in the year instead of giving us a normal one <laughs> We have a brand new Gundam series on the way. Well, to say series is a bit, well, a little bit extreme. It is a three episode OVA from what I'm seeing right here. It is coming out in October and this is Gundam Build Metaverse. So I've always wished Bandai would pull some kind of metaverse kind of thing or multiverse kind of thing with Gundam because it would be so cool to see all the characters interact. It's kind of like that, but on a smaller scale with the different build universes. That's them all. That's Build Fighters, Build Divers, Build Divers Re-Rise, and I assume Build Divers Try as well. We do have some Gunpla announcements and a little about this series first. So about the actual series. So yeah, this is pretty much a 10th anniversary build Gundam series. It's three episodes long. It will be streaming online for free, I assume, on Gundam.info from 2023, October, aka October coming. So what it says about the story right here is, a new internet service has been born in the world of Gunpla. Within the metaverse realm, the user can control their own avatar, interact with other users, play a Gunpla battle, and purchase actual Gunpla. Ryo Hojo is a boy who has dived into this new world, studying Gunpla building techniques in the real world with Seria Urutsuki and absorbing Gunpla battle know-how from Mask Lady in the metaverse world. He has been honing his skills day by day. After completing his own original Gunpla, the La Gundam, Ryo happens to encounter some past champions of Gunpla battle in the metaverse realm, which is a pretty cool concept. Now, I was looking through the list of everything here. We've got some good news and some potentially bad news. Bad news is this is by Sunrise Beyond, which made Kyokai Senki, a very not so popular mecha series that came out recently with some absolutely killer kits. The cool aspect is it's been directed by Masami Obari, as in the Obari-ism guy, the sword guy, the Obari pose guy, aka the guy who did the animation direction in Iron-Blooded Orphans. So that is something to be excited about, and we've got an Iron-Blooded throwback right there on the poster, which is some kind of Gundam frame, which looks to me kind of like Marcosius, but I guess we'll see. Might be a new one. We do have some info on the characters here. The main character, funnily enough, is an outright foreigner, or Gaijin, which is interesting enough. Well, he's half by the seams of things. What it says right here is Ryo Hojo, a boy who lives in Hawaii and loves Gunpla. He's interested in Japanese culture, samurai, ninja, and so forth, thanks to the influence from his grandfather who came from Japan. His personality is cheerful and positive. He doesn't fret even when he lost a battle as it's important to him to have fun. As to why his grandfather, who is Japanese, is in Hawaii, Let's not ask questions about that one. Moving on. So there's some information about his La Gundam right here. A piece of Gunpla which Ryo built using the entry grade Oryx 72 as its base. It was customized according to the Japanese spirit as understood by the boy who grew up in the Aloha state and La in its name means the sun in Hawaiian. Even though he was a first timer, the machine was meticulously finished through repeated, repeated even, trial and error. 
and Ryo's sunny admiration towards Gunpla Battle was incorporated into it. After that then on the page here on Gunpla Info we've got all of the kits that will be coming out and well let's check them out. So the link here leads us over to the BandaiHobby.net site and this is all about the build metaverse and we've got some familiar faces coming out. First off right here we've got the entry grade Ra Gundam. This is new for this series. It is coming out in October at a cheap 1,100 yen, which is just around $10 or so. Of course, this is an entry-grade kit, so that does make it a very beginner-friendly yet awesome kit. There are some images from the event here. This is what it will look like once finished. So simple, color separation is definitely interesting, especially when you look at that rifle right there. And it has a pretty unique vibe about it. Simple, but kind of cool. We do have some of the CG pre-release images here showing pretty much the exact same thing we just saw. There is a rear view and it looks like we've got some kind of weapon that is equivalent to something like a Naginata or something like that. And there is what the weapon will look like in use. So the Oryx 782 kit, the entry grade is a good one. Got some delicate hips, so if you're planning to get this one, be a bit careful. So the next one we have here second in the list is the entry grade Build Strike Exceed Galaxy. So I guess this is our entry from the original Build Fighters, a variant of Build Strike and definitely a nice throwback to something that I can't believe is either almost 10 years old or is 10 years old. I can't believe it's been that long since Build Fighters. We do have a couple of images. Once again, these are the CG pre-releases. It looks just like the Build Strike, just with some nice clear parts in a very Build Fighters kind of way. There's the rear image. It looks like we've got some kind of pack that might function as a kind of core fighter or something similar, maybe a remote use weapon. And it looks like we've got some very, very Build Strike Galaxy Cosmos looking goings on here. There is an image of an actual model kit of it at the event and so far looking pretty cool. What is interesting is we do have build strike kits that aren't entry grades that this could have been based on, but they decided to go with the entry grade strike. Once again, a very, very good kit. So this kit will cost a little bit more than the one we just saw at 1,210 yen, which is still in and around $10 out this October. <laughs> So next in the list, and we're moving on to the next Build Fighters series that's going to be represented in this, and that is Build Fighters Try. We've got a variant of the Burning Gundam. This is the Shin Burning Gundam coming out in November at a, well, spicy in comparison, 2,640 yen, which is... Hey Siri, what is 2,640 yen in dollars? 2,640 Japanese yen. It's about $20. Now for this kit, there aren't a whole lot of images available. This is the only one I can find so far. Once again, definitely got the build burning at its core. It looks like an upgraded version of the build Kamiki Gundam. Was that what it was called? Definitely with the kanji up there in its shoulders. Looking pretty cool. Now there are a few variants of it here at the event. And this one looks like it's packing in a lot. We've got some energy shields coming from the shoulders. We've got some cool effects for using with the weapon. So that 2,600 yen is looking like it makes sense now. Definitely one to keep an eye on. Looking good once again, out in November. <laughs> Next in the list and also coming from Build Divers Try is the SD Gundam Cross Silhouette Kunoichi Kai. Obviously this will probably be Fumina's mobile suit. It looks like Bandai is just giving Yuma the outright middle finger because he doesn't seem to be getting any kind of representation here. Anyway, there is what the Kunoichi Kai looks like. Once again, I assume this will have some kind of transformation. Wait, no. Wait, no, I'm a complete idiot. That's a ninja, an absolute ninja. It says it in Kunoichi. So this is totally an update on something like the Zero Maru. So maybe, maybe, maybe this does have a transformation. Anyway, this will be coming out in November at 1,980 yen. <laughs> So representing Gundam Build Divers next is the Gundam Double O Diver Arc. It's interesting that they went for the diver as opposed to the sky. This is coming out in December of this year at 2,750 yen, so the most expensive from the bunch. So I expect to see this coming with something very, very nice. And it kind of looks like it does. So there is the CG image, the pre-release one. I love the color scheme here. It's a nice almost Gundam Estray blue frame kind of goings on. We've got some orange on blue and that looks pretty cool. Now this is probably what makes the price. So this looks like it's kind of amalgamated itself a little bit with the Gundam Age 2 Magnum. Those shoulder aspects look so cool. The GN drives up in the shoulders with those cool effect parts. 
that looks very nice and we do have a kind of blade effect in the shield on the right arm i'm looking forward to see more from this one by the way you're gonna have to do something about these little flaps in the front of the legs they're always a nightmare be careful while building so there is an image of what it will look like once it's actually put together, at least this is the one on display. Those effect parts are not looking really as strikingly green as they did in the last one. We've got a little bit of what almost looks like a bit of a halo up top. And once again, it really does have a little bit of an age magnum vibe. So once again, coming out in December at 2750 yen. And the last of the bunch then, representing Gundam Bill Divers Re-Rise, is the high grade Plut... Teen Gundam? Purutine. Purutine. Plutine Gundam. So I never thought they were actually going to make this. I always hoped they would, but yeah, Pluto not being a planet, I thought they'd give up on it, but they did not. This is coming out in December at 2,530 yen, and it's a dark take on the core Gundam. So there is an image from the event again, so this is looking pretty cool. This almost looks like a, what were they called? Alice? Atlas? Man, my memory fading, fading, fading with time. But yeah, it looks kind of evil. A little bit like the Alistair 3. That's what it was called. The color scheme is quite similar. It is dark. We've got a nice dark core Gundam inside of it. It's got a scythe. Also giving it a bit of an evil kind of vibe. And it's looking pretty cool. Once again, coming out in October. Sorry, coming out in December, 2530 yen. <laughs> Now we do have this little image at the bottom right here that says coming soon, so there are other kits coming. Now more than likely these are going to be some kind of P Bandai by the looks of things. We've got a Fumina right there, if you take a look at this she's right there as well, so this is probably going to be like a figure rise kit. Hopefully it won't be a P Bandai release, there's not much of a reason to do that with that. But the other two definitely look like they could be. First off we do have a Gundam frame variant. That's it right there in red in the middle, so I assume this is going to be one of the big bad guys of the series. It is in red, it does have a very Marcosius kind of vibe to it, so it's probably a variant of that. Either that, or it's a variant of the Barbatorus, but then again, it's kind of hard to say. They don't have any information about it, but what has got me really interested is that thing right there in the background. It's also included in this coming soon image, so this looks to me, at least by the arms, like it might be some kind of crazy variant of the Hazel Gigantic Arms. Those are definitely the gigantic arms of the Psycho Gundam attached onto it. And well, we can see the shields on the front too, but inside of it looks kind of like an Estray, like the Estray No Name or the Lord Estray. That, that is some serious potential, and definitely serious potential to be expensive, MP Bandai. So there was an absolute ton of other announcements, like tons and tons and tons and tons. A lot of 30 minute missions, a lot of 30 minute sisters, so I'm just going to kind of break down anything that I found was a little bit unique or unexpected that was announced. This right here, this is definitely interesting. This right here is the Master Grade of course, this is P Bandai, you can totally tell by the color and everything, but this is the Master Grade Eclipse Gundam 2, aka the Eclipse Gundam in a very psycho Gundam kind of color scheme, almost like the Blitz Gundam. So it's black, red, and yellow, and it looks badass. And the Eclipse being an awesome kit makes this definitely an insta buy for me. Oh, by the way, just in case you didn't know, coming soon, Full Mechanics Raider Gundam, just in case you missed that one. And also, just in case you missed it, there is a real great Epion. It's coming out in September. Another one, just in case you missed it, it's the Premium Bandai High Grade Gundam Rubris Dew. This has no announcement date yet, it seems, of when it's coming out, but it will cost 1,980 yen. It's from the novel or manga version of The Witch from Mercury. Bandai are expanding the High Grade Super Robot Wars line with the High Grade Daizinga. So this one right here, this is out in August at 5,720 yen, so pricey. I assume it's pretty large. <laughs> one thing I've always wanted Bandai to make, and they're finally making it, and that is a high-grade version of the Sculpt Dog from Votoms. This looks absolutely awesome. If it's like any of the other high grades Bandai has been making, from various other non-Gundam franchises, it should be pretty cool. It also looks like we've got multiple different posed variants of the pilot for inside of it, so that is awesome. The not-so-awesome aspect, P. Bandai. And just in case you're curious, it's coming out this October at 2,750 yen. 
What is this a pretty awesome master grade announcement? You know what that means. It means it's premium Bandai. This right here is a variant of the master grade camphor, and this is the master grade camphor shvea. Schwer, schwer, something like that. This is 6,270 yen, and there is no announced date yet, but it is 100% premium Bandai only. Seriously, that's just cruel. So yeah, that right there is pretty much it for the announcements. To sum it up, we've got two major things, and that's pretty much it. We've got the Master Grade SD Gundam Barbatos, which is, for me, what I'm the most excited about. And the second thing is we're getting a three-episode build fighters face off. Pretty much everything from all of the build universes kind of coming together with some new oldish gunpla coming out to go with it. Anyway, drop it down there in the comments. What are you the most excited about out of everything that's been announced? What do you wish was announced? And as always, I'll throw a link to Hobby Link Japan. They should have the pre-orders up there soon for everything that we'll be getting a full release. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. Make sure to come back for more gunpla news and reviews, and I'll see you next time. Once again, this video right here, and none of these videos would be possible without each and every single one of you guys who watches my videos. And special thanks to those of you who are supporting me over on Patreon and here on the channel memberships, including Ten Soldier YT, Caleb Engelhart, Dashil Marmion, Go Little Rockstar, Joe, Lawrence Seahack, Orgy59061, and Van Fawn.